Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs. I'm back here with a really small haul, but I just wanted to share some things with y'all. Yesterday, my husband was going to be working outside, and he said, you know, hey, hey, hey. He worked for a while outside, and uh, I think he was mowing pastures, I, I'm not sure. And he came in and he said, well, you want to go to the city? Come on, or, you know, the, the next town over. It's just larger than our town. And, um... So we started, and we started this long, long list of errands. And it was funny because we started, and it was like I didn't have that much to get. I just had to get some bird seed, and um, I wanted to go pick this up and, and this. And that was kind of it. But um, he added his errands on, and anyways, it was the sweetest thing. So anyway, so all right, so this is primarily a haul from five below. I have some other things, but I'm going to keep them put up, but I'll, I'll share with you guys what I bought. Um, so I went in there because somehow in the last couple of weeks, I've lost my travel earbuds, the ones I keep in my purse. And I've been listening to a book, um, the audio books. I've been listening to a book um, by Max Lucado and hold on one sec. The name of it is Anxious for Nothing. And I wouldn't say that I'm anxious any you know when you're going through emergency after emergency after emergency if you're not careful you can become very anxious <laughs> and um I recognized that I received a phone call and it, it you know it was a sweet phone call but it was started out with Chris hello and I was just like oh no what's wrong now and it wasn't it was something very sweet and very kind and um it really just is kind of the person who called me that's their personality and it was totally fine but it was just one of those things where I realized I lived so many many years with emergency phone calls that and I mean major emergency room trauma phone calls and um, so I realized I needed to kind of get away so um, interestingly enough I had bought this book put it in, in my audio books I think audiobook, is that what you call it? Anyways, um, audibles or so, audibles maybe. And I had, had not listened to it, and then I went and bought the book too. So um, the book is great. I'm going to end up giving it, and I'll just show you the jacket because I always take the jackets off. But I'm going to give this book to a family member. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's, in my opinion, it's almost light reading. And so for me, um, enjoying it on audibles is audible is that yeah is really nice I mean it's it's been a blessing so and like I said um, I will easily give that book away as a gift to one of my family members so it's not a big deal but um, anyways so I needed a pair of earbuds and I don't know what happened I had this cute little zipper pouch that I have had forever and it hit the black hole so I picked these up and um, I hope they're okay. They look cute. They have my rose gold on there, so I liked them. And I also picked up a pair for my youngest daughter. And I really went in there to get these. I have never used these kind of earphones except, oh, it was wet underneath. Sorry there, guys. I had cleaned the table. Anyways, um, except when I was like a little girl um, doing the SRA things in the library. Did y'all have to do SRA? Um, anyways, they were, you listen to the story, you answer questions, that kind of a thing. So I haven't, I mean, these kind of went out of style at a certain point, and it was all about the earbuds. And so, anyway, so I picked up some of those for me because, because of the title of that book, I'm recognizing that I do need to kind of, like, get away and have everything kind of, like, blacked out so I can think on things above and not on the things of this earth. And uh, that's from Colossians 3, 2. And I, I know that I'm learning where my peace is. I've known it throughout all of this. And God never left me. And he never forsake me, as he tells us in Hebrews 13. But I know that I now need to transition forward. And I know that's weird to explain to people. But I've lived so long caring for people. You know, it's been... Uh, you know, probably 30 years of it, and and I love it. it. There's nothing wrong with it, but now I don't know how to block things out and be alone with God 
just in the in in the quietness of the day if that means anything in the quietness of a less chaotic life it's not a life that is calm yet because we still have so much to do but um i i i now hear like white noise you know the fan going and that didn't always happen before and um and i'm married to a very wonderful man who is not a quiet man he's very you know where he is at all times <laughs> and um we always laugh because he stumps through the house because he walks with a purpose is what he says. And so, um, and my youngest, who's the tiniest of all of us, does the same thing. I mean, she just bump, bump, bump through the house. So anyways, I kind of know where they are. And then there's times when I'm here by myself. Like right now, they went out to go harvest grapes out of our pasture. And so we're going to be making grape juice and grape jelly and all kinds of stuff. He got me. So it's going to be a busy week canning. But... I love canning. That's another thing I used to do when my kids were little. And I think it was because I had to focus so hard on not making a mistake because I didn't want to make anybody sick that I just, I just was so determined and I would put my babies to bed and I would stay up till two, three in the morning canning. And, um, it was always my gift for my daddy. I would give him bread and butter pickles for his birthday. And you'd have thought I'd give it him, you know, like a, 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 you know, 15 pounds of pure gold or something. And, um, Anyways, um, but right now I just, I'm recognizing I need those moments where I'm so focused on something because I have so much to do on my to-do list that I found myself this afternoon in, in, in the early morning I woke up and I went, I allowed myself to go back to sleep because I have not been getting enough sleep lately and I knew, and you can probably hear my voice, it's kind of like froggy, um, I knew that I needed rest. My body needed rest. So anyways, and, and then my mind just started just hopping on all the different jobs I have and the different things I have to do. And, you know, and in some ways caring for someone who is ill is more focused than what I'm doing now because there's so many different people that need something from me quite often. So anyways, so I'm going to try this. I will tell you how it goes. If you're interested, you can email me privately and I will be glad to share with you how it goes. Um, I'm just focusing on, like I had to drive to San Antonio um, Friday to run to the bank and I listened to my book when I wasn't on the phone talking to family or friends or trying to catch up. And that's another thing. And I was, you know, talking to my sister and I said, you know, my best friend moved, and all of a sudden I realized that I had sacrificed so much that I didn't have time to attend to friendships. And, and you know, just like any friendship, everybody gets busy, and, you know, they are who they're with is who they're with, so to speak. And don't get me wrong, I have really sweet friends that check in on me, and, you know, like, I have one friend who comes over, I go over about every month or two, and we eat lunch together, and we catch up, and I'm so blessed, I'm so blessed by her friendship, it is so amazing, but I know right now, I'm, that's why I want to go find a really good women's Bible study right now, um, I know that I need to be with women again, and not, not just, you know, and the nurses have been phenomenal, and the, you know, the, the women's staff have been amazing through this process. Um, but I know that I need just time to just sit with women and let them talk. And let me let me remember what it is to be normal again, so to speak. I mean, you know, normal conversation, things like that. You know, it's just been years of medication and, you know, the timing of this and, you know, hiring schedules and all of that that I need or, or homeschooling. I mean, I've homeschooled for 26 years. It's the first fall I won't be schooling. This is my first summer. I'm not planning curriculum. And I told my husband that the other day, and he goes, well, you could go like tutor. And I said, well, you keep telling me I'm retired now, and I think I am. I think God has pulled me back out of that. I'm at for a, for a season because of my health. I can't really be in a classroom. Every time I try to go back in a classroom, I end up really, really dangerously ill. And um, so I don't want to put any other staff with me ill again through that or, you know, administration through that again and or or students and parents. So 
but um, but it is kind of a sad first. You know, I, I mean, yes, it's the first time that could be schooling one of my children and or other children and or classroom or ministry in a school and um, not that I don't have enough to do right now. I have plenty and I mean, I have enough jobs for like, you know, literally three people. But, um, and then I have to tend to my health. So I'm, I'm repacing myself. And the best way to repace ourselves is, in my opinion, for me, it's to get alone and be alone with God, see what His will is for my life. And it may just be the revelation of one day at a time right now. It may not be the long-term vision that I usually have. You know, God has always been so gracious and given that to me. So, um, but I know I have things I have to get in order. I have to get our home in order. I have to get just all my parents' things and all the other things that I I have in my home right now, my children, my um, just different things that are coming up that is just amazingly wonderful. And then, um, but, I mean, I literally have one, two, three, four massive boxes in here filled with and um, at a family event that will be coming up, and um, there's probably enough for probably three more boxes. So I have to start boxes with that, and we have to take that to storage. But I think I've, I've already taken two humongous, humongous boxes labeled, and um, what we have here, the things are the projects I have to make. So there's going to be a lot of fun projects on this channel. Yay! Okay, so five below. I think these are like five dollars. So, we'll see if they're any good. Um, I did pick up some um, Memorex, I think. It seemed like it was a good brand years ago. So, I got this for my daughter. I also found, and I could not, these were in the wrong place. And these were $2 a piece. And there is, pardon me, 20 sheets in each kit. So, here is this one. Then I have three of those. So, I'm super excited. Um, I'm going to give... One for me, one for each of my daughters, I think, is what I'm thinking. And that may be, like, in their stockings this year. And I'm going to break into mine, so. And then there was only one of these, and I just thought, you know, I I need to shine on and, you know, live for today. Focus, you know, focus on today. Be bold. You know, let's go. Um, all those things. Be happy. Dream. And then, of course, the XO reminds me of my grandmother. So, for $2.20 sheets, for goodness sakes, look at what all you get in that one. And then look at what all you get in this one. $2. Okay. Um, fantastic. So, um, if anybody asks me if I bought planner stickers, I can say yes because they were $2. <laughs> okay. And then lastly, we went to Run by Sam's. I had to get some fruit and vegetables and... Um, what else did I get? Oh, I got a gift for my husband and you know, things like he was with me. But um, anyways, and I saw this. This is called the Weekly Prayer Project. And I'm going to read up a little bit on it online. I, it looked really good to me. A challenge to journal, pray, reflect, and connect with God. So this was $8.88, regularly $15.99. So anyways, I'll just read this back to you. Are you ready for a project that will actually change your life? Challenge yourself to journal, pray, reflect, and connect with God. With weekly prayer project, 52 scriptures, one for each day of the year, explore different types of prayers found in the Bible, from prayers of gratitude and thankfulness to prayers of lament and intercession. Each week's journaling prompts will guide you to reflect on God's work in your life and to pray with intention. Walk through this book and see your faith deepen and your joy soar. So, what I'm thought I would share with y'all is I am going to begin this book um, in September. Yeah, September when I would be going back to school, if that makes any sense. So if any of you, I will put a link below, I'll find a link for Amazon, would like to go through this with me, let me know. I will set up a special like group, um, I guess maybe on Facebook or in Instagram, somewhere over there. I think probably Facebook. And I will set up a group for us if you guys are interested. If you're not interested, I totally understand. But I thought this might be a fun thing for those of us on this channel who um, have either been through difficulties or who have, you know, just needed that extra encouragement in our life right now. Um, I will open this up really quickly so you can see. Let me scooch this up away, guys. I don't think we need that there now. 
And then I'll end with one cute thing that my husband did. But, um, so, this is um, by Scarlett Hilt of Vidal. Hilt Hilt of Vidal. I I'm probably saying that wrong. I'm so sorry. And then, I love succulents. It's really a pretty and calming, uh, see I say the, the sticker, $8.98. So it was $8.98 at Sam's. And I saved that to show y'all so I wouldn't forget the price. And so it gives you like scripture and how to use this journal. So come and see what God has done. He is, he's awesome in his deeds toward the children of man. And that's the English Standard Version, Psalm 66, 5. So, and then it just kind of takes you through the first few steps. So if you decide you want to do this, you know, take a look, read the beginning, decide if you want to do it together. And then on September 1, we, I'm going to start here. And if anybody would like to join in with me, email me at josephinesdesigns.com at gmail.com. That email address is listed below in the information, and it is also in the About section of this channel. And um, so, as you can see, you start day one here, and then if I understand this right, yeah, then um, you work your way through the first week. Now, I will read more about this, so, because it gives us scripture here, it gives us prompts, you know, it gives us things to work through. So, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you, I, re you know, for many years when I taught Bible studies or I attended Bible studies, women's Bible studies, um, to me, I could sometimes, some of them, you know, you were supposed to be in the Word daily for the Bible study, but I could get through each day, um, the whole week in about 30, 45 minutes. And it wasn't like I wasn't thinking about it because I was really thinking about it. I was writing notes. I was processing it. I mean, I am the copious note taker, highlighting, you know, underlining, circling, everything you could think of. And I just realized that I needed a more difficult challenge. And that's why I went on to do precept Bible studies, which I'm not doing that perfectly either yet right now because I made that switch kind of in the middle of, of all the illness and emergencies. So I look forward to this fall really focusing in on our new, newest study. But... Um, but, you know, I can honestly tell you, you could probably get through this and do this quickly. Have whatever, whatever God calls you to do. If he calls you to do it daily, if he calls you to do it once a week, I would totally understand that. Um, but there's really not that much. You know, when you're talking about journaling, there's just not that much here. I mean, it's not like you're going to sit and spend, you know, 50 minutes on this. I, it looks like it would be a quick, brief, devotional type time and a place where you would you know, pray, record your prayers, you know, and just focus on God. And and I love this, pray, reflect, and connect with God. So if you would like to do this with me come September, leave me a message. I will put the link below, order your book, and I'm hoping they have it on Amazon. I haven't even double-checked that yet. Um, but let me know, even if it's just two, to, two of us, you know, where two or more are gathered in my name, there I am also. And we don't even have to be in the same building. You know, we can be in a chat. We can be, you know, all kinds of things. So, you know, don't worry about logistics or time or anything yet. Just pray and ask God if this is something you need to do, if it, he is calling you to do this. Um, it doesn't look really difficult. It looks really simple and very sweet. So, all right, guys, that's that, the weekly prayer project. Okay, so I've shared that. Then lastly, I'm going to share with you my husband is so sweet so he goes to his store so he runs over to Tuesday morning and he comes back with all this stuff so he bought stuff to like organize the shower and all you know he was taking down the old shower shelf thingy and putting new ones up and god love him we got up this morning and two of them had fallen and it was all over the bottom of the tub and because I kept telling him I don't think those are gonna hold honey well no no they're fine I was like okay okay but Sometimes those don't hold well, but anyways, I, he seems to have resecured it and seems to be doing pretty well. It's lasted all day. So he comes and, and I said, oh, I've got you a treat. So I got him like one of our favorite little uh, uh, candy bars and that we were going to split it because I had run into um, Target to pick up, you know, like paper towels, you know, boring stuff. And um, he comes back and he goes, oh, I have you a treat. So he comes back with this big box of chocolates, and I was like, 
oh, well, that is really nice. You know, wow. Because he knows I like this, you know, this sea salt chocolate. You know, I, I usually like dark chocolate. But I mean, I really love milk chocolate, but I try to go to dark chocolate. Anyways, so anyways, and it's definitely not vegan. So he comes back and, and he opens up this box. And I've already taken the insides out, and I'll tell you why. But if you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chocolates in there. And I told them, I said, and one of them looked like it had gotten hot and then, you know, how they get kind of dusty, but the rest were fine. And I said, you didn't, I mean, regularly $9.99, Tuesday morning price $4.99. I said, you, you didn't pay $4.99 for those seven little chocolate bites, did you? Because, I mean, you know, if it were a brand that we were more familiar with, I would understand. He said, no, 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 no. It was 25% off. It was in the clearance. So, you know, it, I was like, oh, okay, well, that's, that's good. That's good, you know. So, anyways, we got through it all, and, and, it, and it's really hot in Texas. It is really, really hot in Texas. So, he was going to leave this in the car while we ran into Sam's, and I was just like, no, you cannot leave that in the car. It will run. And so, and we didn't have anything on our ice chest yet to keep it cold, and so, you know. So, I go into Sam's, and I carry these in. And this man comes to me and goes, oh, are you returning those? And I said, no, no. My husband bought these and they'll melt in the car. And he goes, oh, okay. So I'm walking through Sam's with my chocolates or our chocolates. Anyways, it was just the sweetest thing. So when he gets, we get, we come home and we share, you know, some with our, our youngest daughter who lives here. And we get to the end and I said, oh, no, 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 don't, don't, don't trash that box. And he was like, why? And I said, oh, this is a great project box. <laughs> And then I thought, oh, yeah, just toss the belt, you know, toss this. And I thought, oh, no, that'd be a great belly band. It's such a crafter, right? We go into Tuesday morning, your husband buys your box of chocolates. You're happier with the box than the chocolates. <laughs> Anyways, I thought you guys might get a giggle out of it. I definitely got a giggle out of it. So, anyway, I mean, bless his heart. He was trying hard. He was really trying hard. I was really proud of him. So, all right, guys, so here's what I have in my haul, and I'll be back planning with this, these uh, these inexpensive planner stickers uh, in a few minutes. I'm going to do my first plan for the week, and I just want to share with you that you don't have to spend a lot of money to find things that, you know, they can grow your heart in the Lord, or you can, you know... Um, or, you know, find that piece, that place where you need to get away for peace and encourage your sweet spouse or somebody that you love and get alone with God and, you know, organize yourself. So, all right, guys, hopefully that encourages you today. Most importantly, I just want to say thank you for stopping by. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. We'd love to have you be a part of us. And I uh, hit that notification bell, you know, when each new video comes up. And finally, and most, most, most importantly, I pray that your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. And I thank you all so much for stopping by. And I will be talking to you all soon. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.